Okay guys, in this tutorial we're gonna use FTP lib module to get into public anonymous FTP server completely legally, everything is fine and the intention is to grab welcome messages or banners that FTP servers uh, will provide to us. Well, most of them will provide a welcome message and some of them will send to us some kind of uh, uh, SCR, some banners. Right, so let's grab everything from this model, why not? Um, because we will use just that and no other models will be used. So from FTP lib, import absolutely everything and now we need to have name for connection. Here they are using FTP and also why not, we are also going to use that. FTP, so FTP uppercase and what is our target? Well, I think that this server is not working right now, so I'm gonna use another one. So ftp.fi Debian org, and uh, now we need to log in. How? Well, <coughs> FTP login, which means we will try to get uh, inside like uh, as anonymous users, and for this server that will actually work. And is that enough? No. Now we need to read a welcome message. And to do that, we're gonna use a get welcome method, which will return the welcome message sent by the server in reply to initial connection. Right. So how? Well, we're gonna target a connection and get welcome. But is that enough? No, because we actually need to print that thing. And after we are done, we will just quit. We will just close connection because it's kind of polite. I mean, nothing bad will happen if you don't close your connection timeout is, I think, two minutes. But yeah, it's kind of polite. Right. So uh, let's press F5 to see what's up. And where is that thing? Oh, it's kind of slow. There you go. So this is a welcome message of that server. Please use that specific link whenever possible. Okay, well, what about uh, other servers? Can, uh, because they are different, different welcome messages, of course. So let me see what I can do. This is list of Debian mirrors. And I'm gonna find, uh, I think Russian, it was with a welcome message, right. So this one. So let's grab this address and put it here. Uh, it's actually ftp.ru. And yeah, that, that's it without uh, Debian uh, uh, folder, so domain will work here, and F5, and now we will get a bigger message. So there you go, it's some kind of National Research Nuclear University mirror, and uh, yeah, they are serving all kind of mirrors, cool stuff, and yeah, this is their IP address, and of course you can get uh, this uh, address through Python script, and actually we are going to do that, but it's kind of polite from them to also send to you uh, the target, their own IP. So that's kind of cool, and contact information, right. So now we are going to write a script that will constantly ask us for uh, servers, so we can have one banner after another, one welcome message after another. We are just checking uh, for different welcome messages because they, for example, do have a lot of these servers. So maybe some, that's something that uh, uh, interests you. Right, so how we are going to do that? Well, we're gonna say while true and uh, now we need to grab something from keyboard. So server or something else, you can call it XYZ, it's really up to you. Uh, so input and the information for end user will be like FTP server to check and a little bit of space. And then we need to have a way to get out from the script. So we'll just check if uh, what is entered through keyboard, if that is a quit, then we'll just break from script. So if server equals uppercase quit single quotes we will print that script terminated and then we will break from script okay and if everything is fine with actual domain then we need to do our operations so ftp uh, 
equals FTP uppercase just like a couple of minutes ago and what is our target? Well, whatever we grab from keyboard, so server or whatever you were using here. Okay, and then we will do login anonymous in this case and then we will print that something is happening like some kind of header vertical differentiation of result something like that we can say server uh, server and now we will grab what we have grabbed from keyboard and also we will dynamically uh, get IP address why not uh, let me have a little bit of space here right so how we are going to do that well we will use a socket module now so import socket and in that module we do have get host by name method get host by name method and we need to pass domain to it so based on domain which is string we will get IP address so what is domain well server server is container that will hold our target something like that right well exactly like that and after that we will have a little bit of header why not 79 times I'm gonna print uh, this line and after that we're gonna say print um, FTP is our target and get welcome message get welcome okay so this is the most important stuff in this tutorial and after that also I'm gonna close with another couple of lines oops at the next line and after that we will just well close connection quit and I think that I am cool here so F5 and there you go FTP server to check well FTP dot uh, FE Finland I think uh, Debian dot org and there you go we do have a result in nice uh, kind of report actually you can send this to like HTML page to um, external textual file you can convert it to PDF or even you can send it to MySQL database if you like. Well, you can play around. And yeah, also, uh, please note that we do have target IPs automatically right now. Even if they don't provide to us that IP directly in a welcome message. Right, so next server is uh, expected to be entered. So what was it? Uh, ftp.russia.debian.org and yeah yeah guys that's that's it and script constantly asks us again and again and again right but you don't want to test any more servers so you will just say quit and the script will be ooh sitzirpt will be terminated so i need to uh, uh fix that where is that thing script script terminated let me check that thing one more time ftp server to check ftp.ru.debian.org there you go guys that's pretty much it okay nothing special in this tutorial just remember that the purpose of this tutorial was to uh, use get welcome message because that's how you get uh, banners ASCII art or very short uh, most of the, of the cases uh, welcome messages so i'm gonna shut up and render and as always thank you for watching for supporting subscription and yeah see you next tutorial